Good morning, guys. A good, great morning to all of those who tuned into the realest thing in the world coming to you from Guyana. Somehow, a sense in these lights. Yeah, I'll change it. The, the, the temperature in the lights? Okay. Sense the change in temperature. See, so if he messaged me something here, we're going. Jack, do you press conference today? Yeah. A lot of questions to ask. I want to ask you if it's. They're working on the recommendations of Jordan. So I, I, <laughs> we can talk about the um, $100,000 not to each household, everybody over the age of 18. And that is as of January the 1st. Now, you know, Guyanese is not too good. The PNC is not too good with maths, but Guyanese is in general not too good with grammar. So anybody who became 18 as of January the 1st. You get it? You understand? Anybody who became 18 as of January the 1st. So you got Dane 18, well into 18. If you became 18 yesterday, was you 18 birthday? You get lar. <laughs> right? For Indian, if you don't understand, lar. And for black, we be doing it culturally too, right? It's wood. <laughs> if he was 18 yesterday, wood. <laughs> Indian, lar. <laughs> Amerindian, me you know what I'm calling in the bush. Ufu, ufu. <laughs> Must see some name like, you know, close to cassava bread. <laughs> Right? No, no, no. Me just uh, clarify yeah, Cause everybody tell me next day. Oh God, me is eight. No, 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 no. <laughs> like you just become eighteen for get this money. <laughs> Why you didn't eighteen before? <laughs> Woo! No, no, no. I can't make up this thing. Here, no. My mother gave me some passport yet. Yeah, I don't know if she did throwing shades. What she did doing? She gave me five passports for keep. Yesterday I went to my mother's birthday. Yesterday was my mother's birthday. And I go, I'm feeling too nice, you know. I drink I drink uh, magnesium tablets on an empty stomach this morning. Does it affect you? I can live though. So me and my mother had an argument yesterday. And I said, I'm talking to she. I try to show she something. She didn't understand everything. She's bored. She just out to the hospital. So I'm thinking, how else is it a start? You know, like you got sick talk and think. Because I'm telling you, I tell she, I said this fudging thing, it make no sense. So you, you, you rap on. I, I don't understand. So you tell me. So I go. I said, I can help the lady clean up. She please. Yeah, sir. Lady say, you don't just come to people's house like that and start moving things? He said, Mommy, I'll be doing is packing some things in boxes, get it, because she's kind of a little bit of a hoarder. She got the note via the, the, the car door. Somehow the car door ended up in she house. Right? When I, I said, we do with a car door in your house, the back door. Somebody ran into the back door. I think the band reversed into something and broke the back door, right? Paul changed the back door, put it in the gram or the house. Um, I said, you know, these things gotta get rid of. She got she old, she bike. She electric bike which she had, but she ended up getting nurse. So the nurse don't get a bike. Imagine the nurse since that one month yet and don't get an electric bike. I still watching for left for me. Well here no, like she feel bad. Let me show you. I'm gonna take out two pictures. I take out two pictures. Bye, people got locked by. A lady with me mother never seen her whole life come and get an electric bike. Me, yesterday my mother gave me for her birthday five x five passport. <laughs> she said, keep those now, give it safe. Plus, like she did throwing shades. She could throw shades more than me, if I'm a friend. I can show you all a picture. 
The lady got visa since visa was a stamp. <laughs> I I said, where's this, boy? I get vexed with people for throwing shit to me and cussing me. When me own mother do the punch of board day. Hold on, let me put it in the group. I can't make up these things. I can't make up these things. I wish if I could, but I can't. So, uh, yeah, we had, we had, we had it, we had it out. Yesterday, I said bye before I get the argument with me, mother push your body. But first thing the day before, she said, I don't want anybody bringing any cake for me. So somebody telling me, no, no, you can't act surprised. I said, yo, you understand? Is that no surprise? The maid telling me how she can clean the house when the lady sleeps. And I said, if the lady wake up and see anything move with support from with supposed that that is problem. Yeah, you telling you? I said, don't do that. Don't do that. I go with somebody. There, I said, she asks the person, you know to cook? <laughs> you just cook? <laughs> person says, yes, my mother. So I have some cookbooks for you. <laughs> Woo! Hey, Lorraine, good morning. Mina, good morning. Here, I can't make up this thing. Now here. So this is the first. This is the first. Now here, what I tell you. And I was telling some. There's no. There should be no political correctness with family. This is a joke. This is just a joke. I always remember my mother had an American visa in chip passport. This one was never used, by the way. My mother had a visa that never used, right? So look at the date and this thing. So this he is, see my mother's name, Camille Rodriguez. This is when visa was a stamp, just blue and red and it's a stamp. But like, I could only imagine how fast Kai needs to get into the, with the backtrack thing, yes? And next thing, everybody's stamping the thing. So it's a B2 visa, classification date, and date, December 1973. I was 79 born. Me mother had a visa 47 years ago. No. 79, 73, 1973. Me mother had a visa 50 years ago. <laughs> well, you see, we don't do immigrants. We do, the, the problem is, me mother would have never taken a visa and run with Americans. So, Puerto people in general don't do immigrants. You understand? Like refugee, like smelly smell them. So, we don't do refugee. We used to go through a legit process, you understand? The struggle, although you're daily struggle, you don't live like you is a struggler or a struggler. So, though, yes, I said, I think in my mind, like me mother did three shades for me. You understand? And she gave me these five, five passports. And said, keep it. And so I run and try, said, man, like you're traveling, yeah, yeah, you know? Because me got all me passport, them too. But this is five X, five passports. What are you trying to tell me, mommy? What you hinting to your son? Right? And then one of them got a visa we never use and me get the visa. <laughs> what, is, what kind of shades is that? Right? This, 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 I got talk, I got weird this when I talk in the story. You know what I'm saying? I can't just, you can't talk the story just so. Watch out, watch out. What's my mother's name today? Camille Rodriguez. And I go, yes, and for she bored day, she decided to pull a sick joke for me and tell me collect these five these documents and put them up safe. You know what I'm saying? And then when I go and search anything, I realize well here. 
Why well, I ain't got a visa? Since Janam Juke. She got visa since Janam Juke. You got to say. For people understand. Right? I think them times the dinosaurs are traveling. <laughs> Dinosaur. People. I, I, this is from the Flintstone times. You yes, understand? This is from the Flintstone times. You imagine 50 years ago she had a visa. All right, so this is this is one of the pictures. This is my mother picture when she was young. All right, this is nineteen sixty nine. This is a photograph of my mom. Seventy years old yesterday, and she was telling me stories about when she attended Central High School. I wanna, I wanted to do a, <clears throat> a video with her yesterday, but she was in still and she's still wearing the gongs them, and she's still um, recovering. So, um, yeah. Like what's up? What's up with this this haircut? The lesbians are now coming in, or what? Where are they going? I know. What is it? They, they, I don't know. It's a long time ago, by nineteen sixty nine August. Everything was stamped at passport office, and you see this. You know the impression stamps. You see this one. This is an impression stamp. You know, but Rabbi, that's an impression stamp. Where and they used to do it in birth certificates too. The stamp is engraved on both sides. One is a female and one is a male, and it and it leaves an indelible impression on the the paper. It's like it, it forms the paper in a manner that that is the stamp. So it, you could see it, right? And it's raised. You could rub your hand on it, and you know, yes, that's an original stamp. Right? So there's one. There's one. Let me give you one more picture with you. There's another one. This is 1st of February 1975. By then I would have done barn. You see? You see the stamp better here now? Right? By then I would have done barn. Nineteen sixty nine was the year of Woodstock. Okay, I, I didn't I didn't know. I know nineteen sixty nine would have been no. No mean done by some I sent a nine barn. So it's this is four years before I barn. Right? Them time the photo is black and white. I can remember going Freddy Freddy a studio. In Mirage Building at the side, a man named Freddy. I think it was Freddy was the, was the photographer name. You go, you gotta stand up every minute. Me mother got me taking out picture. Every time she get a chance, we pass by for a take out picture. And I never liked photos. I gotta get some old photos with me and and we we could digitize it, right? Old photos, we could digitize it. Yeah, Acme, Acme too. No, but we used to dead on the road from Acme on King Street. At the side of Mirage Building. My mother used to carry me there. So I get these things here. And I get two dollar bill. Me knows what dollar bill. So I actually she's going to sell it, mommy. And she gave me the passport. I studied, but the, the visa, them now so different. I can't even recreate the visa. She gave me a 50-year-old visa. You understand? Shades, boy. When your mother can throw shades on your hood. Who else not gonna can think? Well, me get vexed if you for throw shades for me. All right, I still love you, mommy. Don't worry. I'll do your throwing shades for me. I ain't got nothing else but love for you. 
Yeah. So yes, today now I'm, I'm the reason I'm telling you this and a little satire in between sarcasm and following it. Family shouldn't be. Um, so my mother's recovering; she's on a bed, and 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 too many family are deceitful. Family should not be need to be politically correct. There's no political correctness and right way to tell family that they're wrong and what they're doing. My mother has always been that way, and I learned that way. There ain't no nice way and, and good time for tell people whose family you tell them direct. Those, those were, that is what separates family from everybody else. You got somebody they're in a depressive state and, and they could cause harm to themselves. You're going to tell them certain things. But family, you got to be straight with family. And my mother's always been that way. She tell you like it is. Obviously, I've been told a lot of our traits are what are displayed in me. That's exactly where I got it from. And what I'm going to do, the, the public is going to decide. Because, like, for instance... This five-second response, I, 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 I tell people that I have it from school days. Since school days, I respond in five seconds. And listening to my mom yesterday, I realized I learned from my mom. And that is not a cunningness or smartness. It is a level of clarity that you have. When you're frank, it is frankness you're witnessing. Because some people have to think how it will make people feel or how it would make them feel. Or, no, 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 no. We don't think who feel, how they feel, this and that. We just respond. It's a level of frankness. Because if you know something, just be frank and honest with the information be forthcoming. If you ask me more of something, she tell you right away. I don't like that person, this, that, that, that story done. Ms. Camille, do you know? But I know I don't know anything about that. I, I, I don't understand how that works. It's frankness. Many times I talk on this program, the fact that I was from school days, but it is a it is an innate, like genetically encoded trait of the Rodriguez family and, and my mom. I got that from. Sitting and listening to her, realize everything. She responds like this. She said, um, I have to let them know. She said, I like when she's something because, like, she see yesterday, there's no joke. So she talking something about Bamsi. <laughs> so, somebody says, I hope you ain't going to attack when they take that with the. Here she, no, 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 I'm not like him, scratching his ass. <laughs> she must see the episode with the, the scratch body thing, right? Hear me, mother. No, no, no. I wouldn't talk about that. I am not like him. Scratching his ass. Just say, no, put your hand as a... <laughs> oh, my God. So I have to let them know? They're talking things about me that they don't know? So some people must just cut ass snippets and send to she. Why is that by she? She lying me. Me and Senna, no, I listen to everything. I don't say. I don't say. When we sit down, we can record the whole thing. And you are going to see she responds. Because I want to ask me mother, if I'm going to do videos and something with me mother for y'all, I want to ask me mother nothing behind the scene. Because I know me mother. Just like me. Either she know or she don't know. And she responds going to be sharp. Decisive, yes, yeah, sir. However, she believe. No human being could be infinitely perfect and right, but I'm telling you, I know she'll give a response. Hello, good morning. Hello. Yeah, Charles, talk to me. Was a guy since yesterday, but you have to talk in my mother and thing. So, I thought she reached 70 and she bored it, and so I yesterday. Hey, meet me father, what is my father? My father died at 70, and the same, at the day when my father died, 
my father was mm. holding me that up. But I want something on, on, on the car in Alba. He's down there when she was, she was a baby. The same day the man dies, the same man, and I left for left you all and shit, but to walk and all them things, but it's a life. Life is a funny way it got to do in it itself, but it. Anyhow, this, uh, what I talk to you is this, they the, got a campaign going on, critics, with the police. The coup police have constant campaigns, depending on region, um, depending on the need to um, reassert themselves. If there are issues, they got motorbike campaigns, it's going to like a tent campaign, it's going to like a speeding campaign. There's a constant thing with the Guyana police force. Different areas, different times, different issues they're addressing. What happened? What, what, what are you affected? Yesterday, I turned from, from Rob Street, I turned into... Avenue of Republic. Rap Street traffic. into Avenue of the Republic. That Avenue is Republic. in front of Bank of Guyana. Head into Bank of Guyana, right? The bumper to bumper traffic. A little, a little, little police by. I gotta say a little police by because me license is more than half the age, I think. You might come and rap for me window from the canto and thing. So I went down the window, there's bumper to bumper traffic me there, right? Mm. Nobody moving, we stop actually. So I went down the window and I greet you, what I do? Oh, what I greet you, what, what, what I do? Tell you, don't do nothing, stop me for tint. So which tint? I said, I got heavily tinted people. No, this can't I got it two years, critics. Nobody never stopped me and tell me nothing about it. But it you see from one end straight through the next end. It got a light, a light tint on it. Mm. Now, I see Inspector Baiz here on the, on the news. Said that Kumutas is the word. They say it could have tint once it's visible. The man tell me I got to to evil area. I tell you, partner, I got people stuff in this vehicle and I can't go to evil area right now. I see instructing me. I ain't got to go to very shortly, very after in the line, uh, 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 Mark to pull up with police Mark to tell the police, stop the Mark to tell them me following the thing for God's station. Or so, and the man now actually we stop me for and I tell him, man, the man tell him by what thing to stop in the mark, you could see clearly through the man thing, let the man go along his way. But just saying, critics, if the Mark to didn't pull up now, and there was a big, a big. Person in the vehicle to tell he do. Now I got to go to the station and waste my time. Unfortunately, too many times that happens. Unfortunately. It shouldn't be. But I, got, I got license 17 years, critics. Back in the days when I now got license, I do a 17 years? Um, um, Charles, you, 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 then you're late tortoise, early fatties. No, you then you're late tortoise. Well, no, I was the car you since was the body time you send me you you probably think me and you was about the same age. No, you you're younger than me. me I'm beat order five March. You're a little by man. You gotta call me uncle. Don't call and say critic. Next time you call and say uncle. All right. <laughs> no hair why? Then when you say something, hey laugh. You body Well <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had to take me like stick me. I get lock up so much of time. For an unlicensed driver, the same day you were? Uh, the same day I turn 18 is the same day I get You get licensed well here now. I get locked up so many times, my man's sorry for me and give me a license, right? I only get licensed in, um, uh, I only get licensed in, in 2015? 2015? You're making jokes. 2007, 2008, when I get like, I, I get air. So I'm driving since the age of 12. Right? Me Let me put it in the context. So I drive in, I drive in, now go make, um, if it's far, four and 12, I drive in 32 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I license 15 years. I driving all the time. Here, I did so trouble. Some I used to go by vigilance station. Line tap was mm. down the street. 
Line tap wasn't a road. Now it's going into four lane highway. It wasn't a road, it was uh, down. All through was down street. And, you know, more dam. With the train line pony. Mm -hmm. Old train line cover up. I does go up Vigilance Station, rev up. I used to drive uh, right up fourth, a seven fifty custom, rev up, make make problem as one police does come out of them bike behind me. And me God, <laughs> drive it through the light that they can't catch me. Yeah, I said, just so, just so make trouble, just so drive by. Hey, there's a different level of fucking madness, by. Like, like, who does, when I watch back, right, I said, who does go looking for problem, by? I can remember drunk at night, drive, fly over dam, um, friendship dam, by, by box and hit a toilet at one o'clock in the morning. Two o'clock in the morning, lady come out hollering, I said, I have to use a fucking cross, who shit two o'clock in the morning, by? I hear this hollering, right? There's a latrine, you know. I knock on a latrine. Yeah. So I calculate who does the outside shit in them over the body? <laughs> like, you know, if you knock on a tire, you make my tire, but this lady hollering, this lady lick over. Inside, they hollering shit all over the place. You understand? Yeah, I said, oh, I Jesus, this lady is a Christ. Talk to the police and critics, right? Mm. I, I watch, um, I watch a, a thing on... on Facebook with with um yeah, with an inspector from up the East Coast. I know his name. He saying he, he talked to the about it publicly to the traffic rounds them and so on. When you drive up and you stop a, pe a person just for no reason, he said the person go no and get a lie on and up sue the government and they get two three hundred thousand dollars just like that. Now. The, the sharpness yesterday, buddy. I, I, I don't do nothing on this road critics for, for, for. No more. Got the police for come after me for no nothing, more. Buddy. I don't like problem with them. Charles. Uh -huh. You don't do nothing on this road, no more. No more. I tell you since early you're okay. talking on the conversation. I tell you, I do answer the sharpness when I know. Me to buy. Me here. If you see me now, wear seat belt and stop at the me. When I watch myself, right? <laughs> People come in the vehicle next to me, I tell them put on the seatbelt, boy. Mm. Don't worry, yeah, we, we, got, we got highlight the issues and they got changed the way. I tell you, he's not 27. And you know what? If I feel not any police clothes, but they put a ringing box in the run of the road, it's gone. Don't lose Stop sleep over them. Go Charles, we talk. Don't lose sleep over them. Let me hope they hear and change oh, the no. wicked ways. Wicked oh, ways, we are calling. Yeah, man. The police is... Me? Here, if I was a police, I'd have been so professional. You guys thought the hope for give me a break. Now, me, I didn't reach the top fast. Everybody did get in charge. You understand? Like, when I start this thing, I only start reaping the benefits of being the guy in his critic four years now because the economic situation changed in the country. When I started, saying, people want to give me a 20,000, man want to give me a 100,000 for a tech down video, man want to carry me at a resort and I can't even take them. I say, yo, everybody, them, I bad, I they bad, you know, me mouth white, I walk in at Kaichur, me mouth white. And I said, bye. I can stand me ground, buddy. Me, if I talk about corruption, I can't get in the corruption. You can't talk about corruption and get in the corruption. You understand? Know I stand me ground. No, here I'm not. This banner gets symptoms just so. And I got a size of symptoms, right? This banner, this banner right here. Right? Muhammad Irfan Ali. Get the symptoms. Just sit down, just sir. I feel he won't get every household 200,000. That's the same terms. Duh. It's a forging symptoms. I, I don't know what would warrant. <laughs> All the taxes come up since um, um, 2020. 200 taxes and fees come up from the poor people back. Old people get back there. Vat take off from the water and the light.
the school children getting forty-five thousand dollar. We get cash grant COVID time. We get cash grant flood time. Somebody fart, them banner running with a filter for cart your hole. Right? You shit too much, your man feed your moo. You play homeless, they give you a house, 50,000 house, lad. They said they give 50,000 jab, they don't create but 80,000 jab. They had another 50,000 something. It was 50,000 house, lad. 50, they don't get taught to something, nearly 40,000 house, lad. And then, the man gets symptoms and decide in give every household 200,000. Right? Everything, everything the man do, you know. You guys think more than man come and share Calgary. The man, so politically correct. This, this government and this president, different. You guys think more? The man turn up with Calgate instead of sharing it out. And he want to embarrass Alec Mesa, but he about to stink and brush your teeth. The man turn up and share Calgate. One stink about man in the village, and the man share Calgate for everybody <laughs> in the village. Calgate. Makes everybody walk around and talk and so. Hey, man. <sighs> hey, how you do, boy? <sighs> the one want to smell the breath. I, things like that happening in Guyana. Compliments to the government. Even the stink mode them are looking after. Hello, good morning. <laughs> hey, you might gotta get um them, them are big Facebook for you don't all them things that they man do that they had in their manifesto and even what they what, what them need when they in the manifesto them. manifesto had no four lane yeah. highway. Yeah. All them highway yeah. and all them then they in the manifesto. What you among the things that they man do? Listen to me, if you yeah, wife start come, when women come out and protest and start complaining enough time with the husband, I tell you, them man is that she wrote Viagra just now. <laughs> and you're getting an extra hour half of stay home and lash. <laughs> Buddy, them man, if you fat, them man turn up and filter. The biggest thing about them man giving a week, I'll get. <laughs> this man is serious. There's they, how things nice and other, other people ain't seen it, so. And I want to ask you something, right? Mm. You would, you would, you would ever trust the PNC again, would you? Trust them for what? Them man, uh, I'm just saying something, right? Them man protest, um, putting something out to the public. Tell me something. You suicidal? <laughs> you suicidal? You would drink poison. Mm. You were asking me if I would trust them. If you would drink poison, mm. I would trust them. I did. Listen, I say, so now, Nigel, you was claiming that um, he can give everybody a million dollars for the body. That's the reason why you asked it though. Bro, listen to me. I heard yeah. and i glad I am telling you, I see the PNC news agencies. Travis Chase, uh, uh, HB, HGT yeah. TV, and Gard Mosley saying is as a recommendation of the farmer finance minister. And i glad it's a recommendation because it's the only fucking thing the finance minister ever make recommendations. He never do not for nobody. So I'm glad yeah. that the PNC, yeah. who doesn't know to do anything, could make recommendations and the PPP could care to because they know how to do things. You understand? Yeah. So that means we're working yeah. together. We are in unity now. Yeah. There's no racism. When a farmer black minister could come and go tell a Indian Muslim president and he do what he said, well, I'm glad all we working together. Where is the problem now? Yeah. You understand? But, but he tried. My brother, my brother, the PNC, the PNC, Jordan, and everybody else said a lot. They have a manifesto that nothing in the manifesto, not five things in the manifesto was completed. You know, the first thing was done by the PNC-led administration and the AFC when they came into power, 
It didn't come out of their manifesto. They raised their salaries by 50%. Wasn't part of their manifesto. They pulled something straight out of their body. Yeah. It was a hat trick, you call it. But normally people use hat. No. They might put a hand because everybody looking and they come in. When they come in, they, they, they had the hand like this. They said they hand clean. The PPP got big, big bag. We didn't come with bag. But we didn't know they had something like it. They were going in jail in the coochie. In the hole. You understand? And nobody, people thinking, man, these politicians, you could trust them. Nobody didn't put them for squat. If you put them for squat, you understand? All the lies would have fallen out of their ass. Right? Yeah. Safe body with that. So this banner get the symptoms. It has to be a symptoms. I don't know where Scarlett. I tell people right away. I call Dr. Dookie. I said, go and check the banner. That is it. That man that sit down and calculate who got get calculate, who got get filter. You understand? The man want to make everybody happy. If you farting, stinking, bothering your wife, the man send a filter for your whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make everybody happy. Soon, when women start complaining great numbers about problems and impotence and this and all, Viagra sharing out. Viagra sharing out. You understand? Everybody, all and sundry, gonna be happy. Next thing, everybody walking around with a hard hand. <laughs> I can't make up this thing. Then the PNC sweep in. I said, yes, it's weird. Eh? I might agree with them that the ideas might have been stolen. It's unfortunate. They don't know implementation. They have never implemented the idea. The only idea that they don't keep coming to Halle's weird eh? is the Durban Copens. <laughs> The shame of that idea. That was to be so grand. Yeah, I remember the story when Granger talked about it and the stop to how it would have been great. The place becomes a murder scene. People's going dead there. <laughs> He's going to get murdered around there. A cow pen and the mining of woodlands. So the people be like, no, 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 we ain't take no idea. I am saying, if you never take the idea, the people, all the people have his ideas. So they could work good together. They could come up with these ideas. And PPP could deal with the implementation because they don't know for do nothing. Hello, good morning. Yeah, morning, critics. You think change, man, is 100,000 to everybody who have an ID card? No, you got to mix up. Huh? You got to mix up. No, 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 2,000, What age? What ages get ID card? 18 years and over. What ages get ID card? 18 years and over, anybody of What ages years. get ID card? I can't say, but it's 18 years and well, over. Well, it's about 14? I don't know. I what don't age know, is it? It's 16. No, no, no. Everybody who's 18, now with ID card. 18. 18 years and over. 17. Eh? They're registered at 16, 17, that's come down and register you. No, you register, you could register from 14. Alright. And then All they right. give ID, but it's not everybody with an ID card. It's everybody, everybody 18 and above. 18. So you have to have an as of, yes, you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta be able to identify yourself, you understand? If you use passport a dunce tongue and think. ID. Valid passport, yeah. alright. Right? Good. So, Pleasure. save body. So let me tell you, Lynette, uh, Guyana has the president. Lynette Passad, yes, because you are a Kuli like him and you must be one who benefited from all. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, the hate already started. So let me hear this announcement. It's a five minutes something. Let me hear what the president had to say. Yeah, I gotta listen carefully for nobody's um hundred thousand. Ease of verification for minimizing any potential conflicts that may arise, whether within the family or in the community. Five, 
ensuring an, an open, transparent funding, the benefit, while removing the challenge, cool. the understanding of the complexity they raise, even within and among families, and understanding the importance of feedback that we have received, including included in internal family conflict about access and distribution of the grant. We have seen in recent day a rush to transfer registration of utility meters and a rush to prepare tenancy agreements, all of which is aimed at establishing a distinct household, as well as other complications that may arise in administering, administering these benefits. Having regard to these challenges, whether real or perceived, I instructed last Friday that this measure be re-examined with the aim of expanding the benefit while removing the challenges previously highlighted. I further asked that this reconsideration be guided by the following key principles. One, reducing the burden of administering the benefit. Two, simplifying the procedures for accessing the benefit. Three, improving ease of verification. Four, minimizing any potential conflicts that may arise, whether within the family or in the community. Five, ensuring that... You hear what the president said? When he said 200,000 houses, people start rushing for transform meeting, people name and get meter. So to simplify it, because know how is actually the same thing but simpler. Because if you get, like me mother get $200,000, right? If my mom gets two hundred, dollars well, here was the thing. Here what I thankful for. I thankful because I didn't get in $200,000. You know the rabbi? You, you, you know I didn't get in two hundred, right? I have nothing in my name. I have nothing in my name. Even me carry and carry register TBN. Meaning I got nothing in my name. Everything is paid for by companies. Even when I go and apply for certain things, I say proof of uh, proof that of resident. Me not got nothing in my name. I don't pay nothing. Yeah, you know I don't deal with them. Everything is deductible. So. Me and I get it two hundred thousand dollars, but me and I lobby for everybody get it. I didn't end up on Jordan thing just because it's Jordan. It shouldn't. It makes sense. But why? Why are? Why would the opposition be so hypocritical? They're always like always got ideas, but they've never delivered anything. They they have nothing to show that well. We had done this, but now we can up it. You imagine they can not say, you know, we're going to give, like, when they holiday giving a million dollars. Man, you take away $10,000 from people. What the fuck you give a million dollars for giving people? When the one time you could have left it, you didn't left it, you take it. There's nothing that they ever give anybody. COVID, they shut down the whole country. The PV had to come open back the country. We are dead and suffer and hungry out. Lock down the whole country. You can't go nowhere, you can't walk, you can't do nothing. How you could do a whole country there? Made no effort for get vaccine. <clears throat> but now they know. They know thing. They know how for help. They know who for save. They know everything, but they never do nothing. You ain't got family like that who knows everything but never do nothing and everything. Like the two, I glad because I get any or thousand. You get in. You get in. You got ID card. You don't have ID card. Where you got? You got passport? Passport. Don't want to get in. Everybody in here is 18 years over. All me buys them getting now. And where you can say, oh, the little churning. No, the little churning don't get in for the 5,000. They've been getting a four year now. Once you have a school age, once you're going to school, they get in for the 5,000 now. And they get in a four year now. Here okay, what the president got to say. An open, transparent, but verifiable system of delivery. And six, expansion of the benefit. In addition of paramount importance, 
was ensuring equitable distribution amongst and within households and across the population at large. Me and no, but no, me, I know more we get in. Because, for instance, he never again, you never again, you're part of the household. Alicia would again, Paul would again, me the head of the household, still this company does pay all the bills and so, so me and none of it ain't getting nothing. Now, one, two, three, four. Five, there is six. I'll, I'll just check in the amount of people what they're wrong here. We alone getting a million dollars. And right away starting a, a, um, a thing, um, we just call it, you know them sensible, here, they got sensible, among the poor people got sensible, one with showbacks. And they always using out your fucking money. They never keep your money. I never understand the boxing, you know, because your money don't grow, right? I just can't, like, give me money for you give me back me money. Like I retarded. <laughs> Guyana box. Guyana come up with guy. He's come with that box thing. Give you me money for you give me back me money. Nice time. Maybe with the president got seven dollars of money. We give In it. keeping with the above important tenets of this People's Progressive Party civic government that I have the privilege of leading, I wish now to announce that instead of the Brrr, drum roll, drum roll. Instead of what? Do we hear the back again, mate? Eh? This People's Progressive Party civic government that I have. Hold on, hold on. We gotta do this thing official. We gotta do this thing official. We gotta do this thing official. No, 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 no. We gotta do this thing official. We gotta do this thing official. Two thousand years later, six and a half hours later, a few inches later. What the fuck is that? What kind of madness are you getting to here? Alright, 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 we get it thing, we get it thing. The man is doing right. Let me get it, let me get it, let me get it. Let me get it. Mm hmm, mm hmm. You gotta get drum roll, a long drum roll. Let me hear. Stop bleeding. I wish now to announce. No, 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 I get it. I'm gonna feel it. <laughs> let me back it up, let me back it up, let me back it up. I like the announcement part just before the hypo. Yeah, sir. It's like orgasmic. <laughs> hey! Yeah? I can only really imagine how you love it and feel it. Eh? No, all them don't stop gonna get ID card. Everybody gonna get ID card. Voting. <laughs> Here, except the mentally ill. Duh. It's just every eighteen-year-old, and you know eighteen-year-olds are little. Then I saw stable. They're going through the phase and like, better vote. If they don't want to vote, I know they're voting now. And you know who they're voting for? Every 18 year old. You know who they're voting for? Hmm? Here. Do we get it? Important tenants of this People's Progressive Party civic government that I have the privilege of leading, I wish now to announce. That instead of the one-off cash grant of... Ah, no, 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 man, man, you get this tingling feeling, man. <laughs> no, no, instead of the one... Oh, Jesus, Lord. Oh, my mommy. Who are the 18 year old go vote for? Who are... $100,000 to every household previously announced. My government will now expand this benefit. Oh God, na, na. man, me, <laughs> me al, one big cut to her, I get hundred thousand. 
low life, hungry belly, the shit guts, the cane cutter, the good, the bad, and the ugly. If you was a thief and change your life, if you just thief one time in your life, if your name smelly, smelly, you come back, you're getting it. If you're PNC, if you're PPP, if you're anti man, if you're lesbian, if you're is whatever you is, once you're 18 year as of January the fourth, 2024, here, here we're getting by providing a one-off cash grant of one hundred thousand dollars to every citizen of Guyana. 18 years and above as of the 1st of January 2024. Who are them people voting for? It's belly work. And here now, here why like the PNC news entities basically running with the story of the fact that they're running with the story of the fact that they hand up all the voters to the man <laughs> One of cash grant. You imagine them man just zegging and get the symptoms and give everybody a hundred thousand dollars. What am I doing election time? You imagine what happened election time? Now that 18 year old. Now that 18 year old. Soon gonna go university and I got pay no fee. No tuition fee. That 18 year old gonna cross the Demerara Harbor Bridge and don't have to pay a toll. The 18 year old gonna go to Lynn, then let them cross the new bridge building, no toll. You understand what it means to be 18 with this president and new administration? An 18 year old, by the time this president come out in 2030, by the time he complete his tenure in 2030, an 18 year old in Guyana would be better off than most people around the world. You know why? You're getting a real head start. Now, hear what I'm telling you. you know, I'm tell, let me tell you something. Now, put back, put back the president. Let me tell you something. Most Guyanese ain't catching it. Most Guyanese are not getting it. A poor man living in a squatting house. Poverty. To be poor. If you poor in Guyana, you ain't doing nothing. You're lazy. Your life is pathetic if you're poor and suffering in Guyana. Hear why? The government, now, $1,000 poverty around the world is when people are living on $1 a day. In certain African nations, people have access to $1 a day. They're working for cents, US dollar, 200 Ghana dollar. The government of Guyana, if you were to have $1,000 a day in Guyana, Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning, sir. I have a contribution. Mm -hmm. I, I suggest if a few friends or family member come together and use that money wisely, they can open up a business, even a poultry farm or a farm, going forward. Nah, man, we your talk now, man. You make joke. What's that? You make joke. We're going to have to bar. Oh, oh, man. You got jokes. That was just my contribution, sir. Thank you. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a positive contribution, brother. But here I tell you, some of them don't get a lot of money. That money can't even pay debt. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, right, these you. are blue life set of people by. And, and that thing indeed we were talking about, they could start a hundred thousand, multiply, and make so much. Hello, good morning. Hey, good morning. Talk to me, brother. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> some people, right, like some of the adults that turn 18 after January, 
you know, they might feel a little bit in French. Partner, oh God, here, we can't please everybody. Just came out. So what I'm... What, 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 what we do? You are we check virginity, no fucking bad, you get the money. Listen what I'm trying to tell you now. I'm just telling you that some people might feel in franchise, right? But what I'm looking at is that um, 100,000 per person going into 60 billion is 600,000 people. So that's what I was just trying to get at. If we have 600,000 adults in this country, because 60 billion... Yeah, yeah, we got 600,000 adults. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. No, but we ain't we know if it goes... Right. I gotta run the census. It's 600,000. So I don't know if Guyana have 600,000 adults. So this is what I'm just suggesting. No, but again, this money was allocated. If it's not there, it goes back to the coffers. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I understand, though. Yes, sir. But at, yeah, we gotta, gotta, because remember, enough people to dissatisfy when we do the yeah. 200,000 household. They're running for things. Then the 80 year old, by. Uh, lucky thing we ain't checking for virginity and his ID card, guys. I'm yeah, telling you. I just, I just looking at it from a mathematical point of view, right? That if you look at sixty billion dollars, you divide it at a hundred thousand, six hundred thousand. Mm. So I'm just uh, suggesting here, you know, mm. that if we ha if we don't have six hundred thousand adults, well, then maybe the mm. people that turn eighteen after January might stand a chance. You understand? No, but you got got you got got some rules. You can't you can't be you can't be flexible to every extent. You understand? And as I tell you, it's a lucky thing they check in for virginity because the only yeah. body where they get the money in this country yeah. is my friend Wayne in Alberton. He's yeah. a fart, a five year old virgin. Right? I, I, it's a very good initiative. It's much appreciated, right? Mm. And just, it's just a point I'm making here that when we just said, when, when, when they don't distribute, right? We only had like 450,000 adults or 500,000 adults. At 100,000, there would only be 50 billion. Partner, listen to me. Listen to me. The more you got for got a line. When you go with your wife for the hospital and she leave her a baby, does that be looking inside for see if another baby could come? No, but the line is not 60 billion, brother. No, it's not a amount of money. It's a, it's a, it's a, a, a people they're giving. Mm -hmm. So, yes, sir. Uh, where we giving pensioners, we giving pensioners. Where we giving students, here now, man. Here now, listen to me. We giving students five to 5,000. Mm -hmm. Right? Year end, September. You, you, they're giving this, this money. Yes. You only come out of school August. What, what we gonna do? You still get your school uniform. I'm asking you a simple question. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm not disputing anything. Is it that they budgeted 60 billion for this project? Is no, it? they budgeted with the households. They calculate okay. 200,000 by 300,000 household. Bam. So, so where the amount of household you end up? Yes, it's here. You got to remember. It's economics we talking about. No, you don't dip up a set of money. Because I, 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 I was of the impression, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe I was wrong. That, that they allocate 60 billion for this project. No, but here now. You don't just pick up a set of money and decide, oh, this is what we could do. You got to remember. We have to taxpayers, it's taxpayers' money. You understand? I fully well know. And when, you, when you're structuring something, it got, got some cut-off point. Because you're going there, I, man, here up now, one to the pensioner. That I fully well understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I, I am just suggesting here that if what I saw when the presentation was made, mm -hmm. if I am right. No, they're telling you what the total is. And opinion, right? you would be that correct. Allocate 60 billion Listen to me. Society. If the government allocated that money, you would be correct. Money would be left over. And obviously... Yeah. They gotta look for everybody else who was 18. If we allocate 60 billion dollars, well then there's a there's an opportunity here, a possibility that it can be given to 600,000 adults. Because 600,000 adults at 100,000 brings it to 60 billion dollars. So if I am wrong that the money wasn't allocated, well then I am wrong. But no, but I want you to listen to me. I want you to listen to me carefully. If it was that was the case, they would have said adults. There's a reason that it has a cutoff point, and the president was specific to 18 as of January the yeah, 1st. I, I, I heard that. I understand. So that. one has to put things into context. It's not wide and open end to be interpreted. With, with, all, of the, with all that you are saying here, and I'm saying, I, I it only by down to one question. I, I just want to clarify if 60 billion was allocated for the exercise. Is that? No, but again, it was allocated, a money was allocated for eight people who became 18 as of January 1st, all, every single one of them. I 
understand. How much ever that is. You understand? When it doesn't reach that amount, the money goes back when you use. Okay. Uh, good. That's why I want to clear up. Roger that. I, I think in my head, right? Hmm. If the government had already allocated this money, well, then it is enough to give to everybody. No, no, but what they could do with it? If that was the plan, right. they would have listed specifically. Because when you listen to the president, he said, Jan what's this thing? 18 is 18. Yeah, yeah, but when you said January 4th, uh, January 4th you right. realize a layer up no, we got to cut off. We got something to be dealing with. You understand? Specifics. Right? Yeah, yeah, of course there's a cut off. But like I said, the, big, the, the only question here is if. Today's Jack, your press conference, I got to ask you, man. Just ask them. Safe. Uh -huh. Good. I'm going to leave you here with this man. I got to say, man. $100,000 to every citizen of Guyana, 18 years and above. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So we got to get two things. When he said this thing, when he done talk now. When he done talk then now. Here we got to get for the. By providing a one-off cash grant of $100,000 to every citizen of Guyana, 18 years and above, as of the 1st of January 2024. Settle down, calm down. Calm down, y'all listen to the president got say. What's all this excitement about? You remember when Glenn Lyle used this? He played a video, say he's going for power, then I said, I clap like somebody in the studio, and he and the other cunt there in the studio. <laughs> I use it. But you just see me using it, right? Let me hear where you go. Special is now aimed at reducing the risk, the complexities, the conflict. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me go back, let me go back, let me go back. Hello, good morning. Jesus Christ. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Let me hear Prezi Governor. With a simple means of verification, being possession of a national valid identification card and or a valid passport. So, fellow Guyanese, this special is now aimed at reducing the risk, the complexity. Let's go on this one, get the fucking migraine today. <sighs> news flash, news flash. Do some effects for me, right? Drum roll, president said what he said, <laughs> dead. Right, the crowd, and and get some, um, get some, pull some old AP and new videos and they're blocking up thing and running all about the place and the pissing pump flag and all them thing, no? Get them, put it in. Do a nice video for me. You understand? This is the kind of thing that makes people piss up. <laughs> this is something worthwhile pissing up for. So, here. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hi, good morning, sir. Hi, good morning, Mr. Rodriguez. How are you doing? Uh -huh. Talk to me. Uh, I had a little bit of a concern. That's a sort of thought across my mind as, as it pertains to this. Um, you know, initiative with the, the ID card. Very much appreciated. And uh, I think it's a way better system. The but, new initiative, um, which is the ID card, the digital ID card you're talking about? No, no, no. The ID card for everybody over 18 years old that can know get this grant no no me and I understand what you're talking to get the person, everybody over yeah, the who is. have become 18 at the a by january the first of this year is entitled to the cash grant to collect that cash yeah. grant you have to have an id card or a passport 
definitely understood, right? But my, my, my concern, I'm not sure if those nitty gritties are now being put into place. Like, how does one access it? Is there a specific location? Will those ID cards be computerized? as you collect, you check off so that person can go and double and collect more than they should? You got me to last. So, is the sharing out process... Yes. Is it digitized to make sure that somebody don't there one place and then go another place and collect with the same ID card? Correct. Correct. Um, obviously, they were thought about that because if you notice, one of the reasons for the initiative is simplifying it because people don't start running and get rent receipt for household and changing like billing name and all them things now. So the process was to enhance transparency. I don't think you going, if you're going some way, you obviously can't go back again. And if they come into you, right, you got there. Yes. If they come into you, you got to be there. That is correct. Because the cash grant, for the, the COVID cash grant, I collected in Luziknan and I got it there. So it has to have a certain level of bear in mind. You'd go to jail for fucking hundred thousand dollars. Like I remember they taking a record. Louis says somehow you try something. You go into jail. When the auditors check it up and realize Harry Paul get three times or two times. Mm -hmm. If that could happen, I don't know. You go into jail. Okay, okay. Then well, well, the other problem I got is how you verifying the ID card. I, I want to make sure. Yes, you know all of though. Yes, yes. So, obviously, they have things in place. It's a pity that we well, don't get the digital ID card yet because you just send the money to everybody and you take out your money from there. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct, everybody. Because if you're 18 years and older with an, with, with, with an ID card, we would want to believe that you might have a bank card also. So, we just say it to you. No, 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 no. We are presently doing a digital ID for every Guyanese. Okay. That is being mapped out. And digital. When you pass through the airport and all, you just anything you swipe in, um, pension and all them things. Like that, and digital. We know who they were, what they're doing all the time. It's a digital ID. So if they had that, that man could just put yeah, in that. all who over eighteen, bam, 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 send the funds to everybody. That's correct. Right. It's a pity that that is not in place as yet. Right. I'm Sorry, you, you, you have a good day, and thanks for the clarification. No problem. Let me hope that it is, it's got a level of transparency, because it's the next thing. It's never said, guy, you think try a thing. So here we are doing for me, and I want this, precisely this. Here for Ali talking about the thing, right? You talk a little bit. Hello? Yeah, good morning. We would just like to say, you know what, well, thank God for the president, buddy. Sir, just keep up the good work, and we we pray for you every day, So We thank God for you. You understand? You never forget the poor, and you're focusing on the rich alone. Mr. President, we thank God for you, sir. All right, buddy. I feel honored to be in a time and we got to be honest, outside of the PNC, and the, the, they had their ideologies. Unfortunately, most of the PNC and AFC ideologies um, are fested with procrastination. Um, they have never been able to complete anything. But I'm glad even in their wayward ways, so to speak. You know, I say wicked ways. Politicians come, they promise you the world. They did nothing to the extent of what they said. They can't be trusted anymore. But I'm glad that we now have a president who even takes care of their people. Who have been lacking care. Them themselves. The president then said PNC people are PVP people, you know. Everybody over the age of 18. He didn't say whether you had a criminal past, whether you had a conviction, whether you had a... 
a thing where they incorporate everybody over the age of 18 and who would have become 18 by January the 20th. 2024, the first, January 1st, 2024, this year. Because a lot of times you saw things, you hear Valde Lauren said, we got thing for PNC people. It used to be a PNC thing. It would be an AFC thing, specific. They light the people, they come, said what they go do for the estate, close down the estates. Now I'm glad that we have a government and leadership that deals with all Guyanese. And I'm seeing that. I'm looking at things. Everything is not perfect. People are still poor. But I was talking about poverty. Now, in what the government gives to you on a yearly basis, is more than $365,000 a year. Yes. In direct infusion to individuals in this country. And there are people who live in... There's $1,000 a day. There are people who live on 200 Ghana dollars a day. <laughs> One US dollar. <laughs> that amongst the millions of people, if not billions, who are in poverty. And imagine... You got people crying wolf when a government, the threshold for what a government does is just about keeping you out of poverty. Are you still in fucking poverty? Because here what you got to do, you got to take what the government give you, plus work, and build up yourself. You get a real head start. And people ain't even willing for capitalized panda. So you know some people got for poor and suffer all in life. You understand? Let me call um, Orlando and see this thing we tell him. I ain't too, that 12 minutes over my time. I didn't want, well, actually, we do this thing tomorrow, right? Anyway, I also want to say the 18-year-old by the next term of Ali government can apply for house lots and get it since the waiting time has reduced significantly. Also, majority of squatters are supporters of the opposition and are not necessarily in the state because of the government. True. Um, yeah, I anyway, want uh, let, let me put over this file for Orlando thing for tomorrow, and we deal with it tomorrow. We depend on a nice note with positivity and people studying. Hey, good morning, critics. I was watching your program this morning, and I heard you mention that, um, what the government was doing for this country, and um, you mentioned how. As soon as a man out stinking, he, they would provide cal gift, and your fat little hard. They would um, they would provide what's not and what's not. I quite agree that the government is doing for the country. Yeah, I bear in mind it's shipping is like different, right? Yeah, I know satire. Yeah, I know. I'm just being sarcastic, right? Let me get disclaimer. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Curtis. Listen to your program here, and you're talking about the 100,000, which is a very good initiative from the government. But when you listen to Vice President Jagdeep press conference in the past, as a taxi driver I'm talking about, he said subsidy every gallon of fuel I purchase is $500 the government subsidized for me. You check, I am burning $4,000 gas at the check of money I am getting from this government. No, no, I am totally aware, aware of that. That is why I said. But, but you it can is... only talk about this, that, that money. You got to talk about the other money we'll be getting elsewhere. As a taxi driver, we are benefiting. Bro, 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 uh, listen to me. Way. I just spoke about the fact that, so, in African nations, in certain parts of Asia, people live on one US dollar a day. There's 200 dollars, right? Mm. On average, what the government of Ghana gives to the citizens as a result of the special effort they made to take out the taxes, I'm talking about from 2020 to now, take out the taxes, giving back the old people things, all the cash grants, the amount they're getting um, with the children, the $45,000 per child, it adds up to about $360,000. And you not check the gas, no, that, no, but all of that, all of that, all of that is included. 
I am saying, I am saying, the government has created an atmosphere that should have kept you out of the poverty threshold because it poverty, survival, and starvation is at two dollars, two hundred Ghana dollars on the world standard. The government alone, what the government puts into you on a yearly basis, adds up to five times that amount. So you have a head start. This two dollar, what these people, what are you talking about? What these people use it on a daily basis in poverty in African nations and so on. They work for that. They are slaves for that. They don't get nothing more than the. You understand? Huh? Yeah. No, no, no. I ain't asking. I'm telling you. Yeah, buddy. So, <clears throat> no, I am telling you, your government gives yeah. you a head start on your life on a daily basis of $1,000. In addition, this is your start, right? In addition to know whatever you do. But most people just live in for $1,000 and they expect it to grow because you the PNC tell them you're supposed to get a million. You're still, you still not getting me point. I am getting $2,000 extra every day from gas alone. Partner, not you alone. As a result of that, as a result of that, you have not raised your fears, and that has trickled down to the poor my wampley, scanty, and big bite. This is only gas. Think about the other stuff We're coming in. Food and everything else, yes. All right, buddy. Take See. care. You didn't cool. smoke, cousin. You understand? Yeah, I'm telling you. I can break it down. I'll do a video specific. Outside and... and I'm going to tell you, people, but here I'm telling you, I want the video. I'm going to close off now. I want the video. So you got here for talking the five points that he made. No other the political jargon. We got to get the fact-based thing. The five points he made. Then just before he go to the thing, you do a drum roll. Then when he make the announcement, you clap. Everybody think. And then after this mass hysteria, when you pull up some video and people running and broken up thing and rioting and pissing all about the place. You understand? If you catch anybody shitting video, shitting video, I'll, I'll do an alto. Do a nice shot video for me and let me get it. You understand? Because this is thing for piss up and shit up. Right? Yeah, I'll take care. Peace out. Keep it real.